Hello, and welcome to the 3,652nd episode of The Edge. Tonight, we will be bringing you the greatest financial disaster in America's history. From relief to recovery and reforming. That's what we'll cover tonight on The Edge. Hoover was a Republican, and he thought that the, the charities of the United States should help the working class get out of debt. He, he was all for the charities. He was a big, like, he offered fundraising for charities, but he wouldn't help out the average working class of the American society. The last couple of years, I've been having a lot of problems. I don't have any money. I can't afford to raise my family. I had to send my only son away. Hoover's not helping me at all. I need a little bit of money, just a little bit, and I can't get it. I put all my money in the banks, and when they failed, I lost everything. And now, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't have a job. I can't afford to feed myself. I'm probably gonna die. I served this great country on the World War I, and I wanted my money, but I, I rioted against Hoover at the White House, and he shot upon me. I didn't like that, so we rioted. In the 1920s, farmers all spread down to the south to plow land and make, make more room for the farms. When they plow this land, little do they know that the sod that they picked up was actually all that was holding that ground on the ground, uh, all the dirt on the ground. So, by doing this, in about 1932, 14 storms follow, following a massive two-year drought caused the Dust Bowl. Professor Nick here is showing just how bad the Dust Bowl really was. All my cows died. I couldn't brush my teeth. It was all dusty. My milk was brown. When I got out of the war, who were promised me money? We need took my job! Took a Took a So I uh, woke up the other day, looked outside, dead. Everything was dead. Hoover did it. And I know he did it. Because I saw him do it! But I didn't, I saw him on TV, I didn't see him actually in my fields, but I'm pretty sure he did it. And he doesn't give us taxes, and he's just a horrible president. Well, I moved to the South to make some money. It seemed like everyone was making money down there, way better than Georgia. But I got down there and just dried out. Everything dried. Horrible. I lost my whole family. Dust Bowl was one of the most uh, deadliest man-made disasters of all time. Everybody just kept plowing and plowed some more. And it was getting bite us in the butt and one of these times and everything was all dusted. Couldn't breathe without getting dust in my face. And, um, everything was all dusted. Couldn't brush my teeth. It was all dusted. Yeah. We're about to show you who all was actually affected by the Dust Bowl. You see, uh, not only did it affect people down south, but it affected people in this region right here. It affected everyone, even in the Midwest. Um, during this time, though, there was also a bonus army thing, a bonus army riot that actually caused Hoover to fire upon the actual army. It was a very big deal. It happened in below New York, actually in D.C. Uh, um, but when it came to jobs. Um, Cal California, they blame the Mexicans. Um, they, Mexicans would, you know, jump the border just like they would today. And actually, still like today, we blame them for stealing all of our jobs. Welcome to the end again, and uh, here we are with... Again, 
Farmer Nick, Farmer Ben, and Farmer Colin. Um, well, a new president has arrived, and uh, basically, I like him. yeah, a lot of people are liking him, Colin. That is the thing. Nick, what do you, what would, what is your input on the new president? Oh, all right, yeah. Well, um, everyone really likes Uber nowadays. Don't we, Ben? Yeah. yeah Uber, really Uber, he's making, awesome. But, you know, he doesn't really have a solid plan of what's going on. But he's just better than the last president. Yeah, he, you know, we're getting through it step by step, and he's giving us action. He is a vet from World War II. We're going to ask him about some of the things he witnessed there. So tell me, Fisher, were you there when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor? Yes, I was. I was there when the sky started raining bombs and planes took off from every which direction. It was probably the worst experience of my life. I was frightened to my life. Were you uh, serving on a ship? No, I was on an aircraft carrier, which is pretty much a ship, but it's like an island. Right, man. Well, I was on one of the crews that loaded bombs on the airplanes. And we got hit. It was on the side of our. We went. It was on the side of our ship. And we started tilting this way, and I got ditched off the deck. How do you think, like, how, how do you feel about how Hoover, not Hoover, FDR responded? I thought he responded pretty nice. He was paying back. Well, we lost over a couple thousand men there, and I think he did the right actions. When the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, FDR acted quickly and violently. Under his guidance, we started the Manhattan Project, which gave us one of our most powerful weapons. So let me ask you, FDR, a great president or the greatest president? <laughs>